Hi, I'm Paul Modiano from Logical Developers, and in this video we're going to go over application generation options, specifically using IronSpeed Designer's application generation options dialog to set page options globally for newly created pages. If you've used IronSpeed Designer before, then there's no question that you've used the application wizard. And it's easy to go through this wizard and specify your page style and your database server and your page types and keys and languages and application settings. And it, it's possible to forget going into this button, which is your application generation options. This is the first way you can access it. The other is after you have built your application, you can access it via the tools menu in IronSpeed Designer. To illustrate the importance of setting your application generation options before generating your application, I'm going to show you an application that was generated with IronSpeed Designer without changing any of the options. Uh, one thing that we're going to notice is that all of the menus have submenus. This may or may not be something that you would want in your application. You'll also notice that in the button bar at the top of the table, we have the ability to edit, which is redundant with the row edit button. We have the ability to copy. We have the ability to delete multiple items, which you may or may not want. And we have every button under the sun that Iron Speed can generate. You may not want to generate any of those buttons for the great majority of your pages. So generating all this in advance will cause you to have to go back and delete those from each of the pages that you have generated. Wouldn't it be nice if you can set up the options the way you want and save time later on? I'll show you how. Back in the application wizard, I'm going to click the options button. You can see there are three titles, New Application Generation Options, New Page Options, and General Application Options. We're going to concentrate on New Page Options. The first important subcategory of New Page Options is Pages to Create. Under there, it shows the various types of pages that IronSpeed can create, and it leaves it to you to figure out which ones you want to create. More often than not, you're going to find that the number of tables that IronSpeed generates for you by default is probably more than what you want or need. And so an easy thing to do is to go into these options and tailor it to match your needs. For instance, we pretty much want it to generate a show table page more often than not for every table in question. But do we need an edit table page? I'm going to say no. Do we want a table and table page for every table that we create? Probably not. How about a record and table? It's important to note that by not generating these pages now, you're removing the requirement to delete those pages later and to delete the links to those pages that IronSpeed creates. So let's quickly go over the other pages. For a record, do we want to create add record, edit record, show record? Yes, let's do all that but let's generate no other pages. So I'm going to shut these off. And so now we've configured it to generate four pages for each table by default. An add record, edit record, show record, and a show table page. The other options that it allows you to edit are the characteristics of the various pages. Let's go into table. For a basic show table page, we can see that we can change the field order, whether or not there's going to be a panel heading, whether we want a expand and collapse toggle button. I like to shut those off. I don't often need a collapse expand toggle button. How about the default table panel rows? Maybe I want to make it 20 instead of 10. And we may not want to automatically link foreign key fields to a show record page. We might have turned that to none. In filters, which are at the top of the show table page, where do we want to put it? Our filter types drop-down lists, multi-select boxes? Do we want a search control to be generated? Now let's take a look at the table buttons that it wants to automatically generate. This is an area that I often go in and make changes to. For instance, 
do I want table button the ability to edit records more often than not like I said before it's redundant you have that on the row level so let's get rid of it do we want them to be able to copy a given record I say no delete multiple records no create a PDF report well, let's say we leave that in there but do we need a word report and if we're gonna have export to Excel do we necessarily need an export to CSV and more often than not we want to prevent them from importing data not encourage them from importing data and you may not want to give them the ability to refresh their data or reset their filters now let's go to table row buttons we can see that there is a show record button there we'll leave that an edit record we'll leave that I don't need to give them the ability to copy a record. Do we need a row selection checkbox? No, we don't need that because we deleted all the table buttons that might make use of it. So why not just save the space? Now, there are over 200 options here to be changed for different pages and different page types. And I'm not going to go through all of them because of the amount of time that that would take. But I'm going to show you the effect of making even these few changes that we have made. Before moving on, I want to remind you the importance of pressing Apply as Defaults for New Applications. By doing that, you save that set of options. So the next time you need to generate an application, it's going to do it exactly the way you want it. Now I've just generated a new application based on our new settings. And the first thing you might notice is that our menu items have fewer submenu items. You could also see that our table button bar has an add, an export to PDF, and an export to Excel, but nothing else. You could also see that we have fewer buttons on our table row. And because these were global changes, it not only means that other similar page types are similarly configured, it means that future pages that we generate will remain consistent. I hope that this video has been helpful. For more information, you can visit the knowledge base or the forums at ironspeed.com. Thanks for watching.